to pick us up at the airport? Well, they're getting kind of old, you know. My dad says sometimes they forget things. Yeah, like us. Look around, Gretchen. There's nothing but mosquitoes and frogs. I bet the alligators don't come this far out of town. You know what? I'm going home. No, wait. Rose, that's my grandmother. Come on. Oh, your grandma has a gumbo stand. What's gumbo? It's grandma's specialty. It's kind of like a thick soup. So why doesn't she just call it soup? Because it's called gumbo. Whatever. There it is. Grandma's house. Nice place. Does anybody actually live in it? Frogs get around here. Grandma? Grandpa? There's nobody home. There is now. <laughs> ah! You know what? I'm going back out to the swamp. Grandma? Grandpa? They must be upstairs. It's dark up there. It might be dangerous. You go first. I told my mom I didn't want to come here this weekend. What are you gonna do? Go on the honeymoon with them? There wouldn't even be a honeymoon if your dad hadn't begged my mom to marry him. My dad begged. I don't think so, pal. It was all your mom's idea. Shh. I thought I heard something. Grandma? Maybe they're in there. <gasps> Grandma? Gretchen. Oh. <laughs> and this must be. Craig. It's Clark. <laughs> nice to meet you. All right, then. Come on, who wants gumbo? You two must be pretty happy to be down here and away from that noisy, crowded old city. Oh, yeah. I was getting really tired of having a good time. And this gumbo is delicious, Grandma. I've never tasted chicken done like this before. That's because it ain't chicken. It's gator. <laughs> Needs more hot sauce. Hi, Grandpa. Little Reggie, I didn't recognize you. Oh, you're growing like a weed. Oh. Good to see you too. And this is the newest member of the family, Craig. Clark. Yeah, instant grandson, eh? Put her there, young fella. So you're a hunter, huh? Yeah, well, not today. Got all the way to the swamp and forgot the bullets. Again, Eddie? 
I can't seem to remember anything. No kidding. I forgot to pick them up at the airport, Eddie. Oh, did I know about that? <laughs> it doesn't matter now. The important thing is that we're all together. And I have a feeling this is going to be a very exciting weekend. Did you hear that? What? That! Oh, that. <laughs> oh, that was uh, swamp gas. Clark thought it was a giant frog or something. <laughs> What's so funny about that? It's possible, you know, all those creatures out there living in the swamps for centuries, surrounded by slime and weird vapors and stuff. So maybe some new kind of animal evolved, something we haven't seen before, and it's out there right now, climbing from the ooze, crawling toward this house, hungry for the taste of human flesh. I just wanted a drink of water. Well, you sure won't find it in there. Yeah, you sure won't. That's just a... a an old storage room full of... Old storage things. Maybe tomorrow Clark and I can look around in there? No. no it's uh, dangerous in there. Things might... Fall over. You wouldn't want to get crushed by a... By, by an old stored thing now, would you? I'll get you that glass of water. trouble. Clark? Are you in here? Come on, this isn't funny, all right? Clark? Clark, you can't go in there. Take it easy, Gretchy. 
Clark, no! Clark? Clark? Ah! False alarm, Gretchen. <laughs> but it was right here. I saw it. What are they doing? I forgot about it. Again? Grandma! Grandpa! They can't just leave us here. I told my mom not to marry to this family. Sounds like Grandma Rose put a little too much hot sauce in your gumbo. Well, that wasn't my stomach. Well, it wasn't mine. <laughs> are human. It's locked. What? They locked us in. I bet they did it on purpose. I bet they wanted that monster upstairs to eat us. Get a grip, Clark. Why would my grandparents want to feed us to a monster? I don't know. Maybe they've been out in the swamp too long. There's another door in the kitchen. Wait for me. They probably just lock the front door and leave the back one open. Everyone does that down here. Yeah, everybody except your grandparents. Okay, so we'll just have to get out a window or something. Well, it'd have to be something. There aren't any windows in here. Hey, wait a sec. Look. Excellent. Maybe there's a key inside. Let me see. Dear Gretchen and Craig. It's Clark. Sorry to leave you alone like this. We had to go into town on a very important errand, but we'll be back soon. Hmm. Please be careful and stay out of the storage room upstairs. A little late for that, don't you think? Grandpa must have killed that thing while he was out hunting and brought it back here. Except it didn't stay dead. How come they didn't tell us about it? I don't know. Maybe they just forgot. How do you forget about a 10-foot monster in your house? Well, one thing's for sure. It's dead now. And it won't be coming back to life again. What? <sighs>
Is it? I don't know. Let's get out of here. We have to be sure. Can we please get out of here? Okay, come on. Let's try the cellar. What makes you think there's a way out down here? I've got an idea. <sighs> Not another one. There. What is it? A coal chute. That's how they used to heat these old houses. <sighs> there's gotta be something around here we can use. What if this door is locked too? Well, what if it isn't? I'm not just gonna sit around here waiting for you to get us into any more trouble. What? Me? You're the one that went into the room in the first place. Well, you're the one who went in the second time and bothered the thing. Oh, please. I bothered him. You're the one that dropped him down the stairs. Well, at least I did something. You just ran around like a chicken screaming, it's gonna eat us, it's gonna eat us. I did not. Did too. Did not. Did. <laughs> starting all of this? Well, I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault. It would have gotten out anyway. And besides, you did have a lot of good ideas about how to kill it. That's okay. I guess we make a pretty good team, sister. I guess we do, brother. Hey, check that letter. You might say when your grandparents are getting back. It doesn't say. There's something on the back. Yes, Grandpa shot a monster while he was out hunting. We didn't tell you about it because we didn't want to scare you. Just don't disturb it and everything will be fine. Oh, so now they tell us. Wait, PPS. There might be more of them out there in the swamp, so we're locking you in until we get back. Whatever happens, don't go out into the swamp after dark. Thank you. 